in this video we will tell you how can you onboard on microsoft fabric now before you onboard on the microsoft fabric let's understand couple of terms to enter into the microsoft fabric basically uh, to get the data into the microsoft fabric you have two options lake house and warehouse they are the places where you can store your data now both of them are going to store data in delta parquet file the what's the difference why why should i use lake house or why should i use warehouse so let's understand first of all what is lake house so lake house in microsoft fabric it is a cutting edge data architecture platform designed for efficiently store manage and analyze both structured and non structured data within a unified system so it's like data lake okay by seamlessly integrating structured and unstructured data the lake house enables organization to deliver valuable insights from their data assets in in a single consolidated location lake house simplify data access through automatic generation of read only sql endpoints and default data set upon creation so the moment you create it, the lake house it will give you a read only sql endpoint means you will be able to read data using sql and you will also get a data set using which you will be able to use the same thing in power bi okay and the, the online version of the power bi you will be able to create the uh, report app.powerbi.com which we know um, the url for this this sql endpoint provides user with the convenient access to the data for analysis and querying purpose so you can easily query it using the sql endpoint so if you are a sql user if you are power bi user the things are in your hand right now it's just simple you don't need to write down any spark code to just read the you know uh, the data packet file which is the storage format which is what we call the one lake basically the entire architecture below is the lake architecture only uh, even though whether we are uh, storing it in lake house or we are storing it in warehouse now what is warehouse then the warehouse provides a comprehensive support for transactional data definition language and data manipulation language so both ddl and dml is supported now previously it was read only remember uh, the ct sql in it functions as data warehouse and possesses a robust t sql capabilities similar to those found in the enterprise data warehouse so in the enterprise data warehouse whatever t sql properties you found the same you are going to get it here managed by sql engine the warehouse facilitate data update through pipeline sql spark and shortcuts files are stored in the delta packet format and presented in form of table user can utilize sql for data updates and transformation now unlike the sql endpoints which automatically generates table and data you have a control over creating tables loading data performing transformations and executing query within data warehouse so the control is in your hand okay this can be achieved through either microsoft fabric portal or t sql command we will be able to use sql server management studio in this case i, I have tried it out uh, when i was experimenting and we were able to connect to sql server management studio from there we can create the table we can uh, put data from one table to another table we can do certain kind of transformation all those we can do we are going to explore as we go forward warehouse provides a default data set for your convenience so it do, do provide a default data set so both lake house and warehouse provide your data set means the moment you land your data either in a lake house or in a warehouse you are ready to go and analyze your data no more wait is required no more configuration in power bi is required the only thing is required which is definitely you need to create the relationship because we are not going to create a relationship in the lake house or maybe on the warehouse also so that is something you have to do in the data set and we'll going to explain you there that now this is how it, the structure look like very simple diagram i created like this is my lake house this is my warehouse both going to store in a uh, you know one lake which is delta packet format and read only t sql endpoint is there there is a data set here again this is t sql read and write and then there is a data set so now what we are going to do is we are going to jump on to the uh uh app.powerbi.com so let's go to app.powerbi.com those who have access those who have already created login should be here now those who have not created watch my you know 11 hour power bi video i have told you all the ways to get a power bi um, login created and all those the things which you have to make sure which i already explained in the last video that you have opted for the trial okay i have already opted for the trial and in the tenant setting where are the tenant setting so you have to click on the setting icon and this only you will be able to do if you are a admin 
इफ यू आर अ पावर बी एडमिन देन ओनली यू आर गोड बिकम द फैब्रिक एडमिन एंड देन यू आर गोड गेट हेयर एडमिन पोर्टल इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग द एडमिन पोर्टल फर्स्ट गो टू द एडमिन डॉट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डॉट कॉम एंड ट्राई टू क्लेम दैट इफ यू हैव दी एक्सेस एंड यू आर दी ऑफिस एडमिन नाउ क्लिक ऑन दी एडमिन पोर्टल एंड अंडर दैट यू नो यू हैव दीज प्रिवलेज विच आर मीन्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन योर टैलेंट टाइप लाइक I have actually upgraded first to PPU and then when I came in, I don't have, I did not find the start button uh, in this tenant. I have two tenants in one of the tenant I'm getting the start button because it was already upgraded to PPU directly given me this option only to enable. And once I enabled this, I was I'm able to work on the fabric. So what I've done is I've enabled it for the entire organization as you can see this permission. Okay, so these are the things which you need to take care. now once you enable you are ready to go so first thing which we are going to do is we are going to create a new workspace what's workspace those who are not from the power bi see workspace is the collection or where you know you are going to utilize your tenant and you will have reports dashboards uh, your lake houses all are going to lie into that logical workspace separation workspace we will have set of reports we will have set of lake houses we have we will have set of warehouses we have will have set of uh, data flows we'll have set of uh, data pipelines all those there will be a collection of things and we can have separate separate workspaces and those workspaces can be assigned to different different users so workspace is the unit which you are going to assign to the users so we are going to create the first workspace then how do we create the first workspace here so you have to go, click on the workspaces and in the workspaces you will get this button new workspace Now, when you create the new workspace, let me try to give a name like zero one hyphen fabric. Now, it will tell you if something is not allowed. Okay, and let me call it as fabric demo work space. I already created one. Now, those of you who already done it, the both the things you should get this trial. Now, if you are the one like me who has actually was using the PPU trial and then came here, you might not find it for the first time. i found only premium per user for the first time and i've used that premium premium per user now what i've done after that i created it and when i created first time on create lake house i got after that when i came here i got this option for trial now ideally speaking you should get trial even if you are not getting don't worry about it just use premium or premium per user whatever you are seeing and then you go ahead and uh, you know go ahead and do that and then you can use the large data set format or small data set format uh typically uh, we prefer large data set format uh, in the power bi world when we are using the larger data so we can use that now and we can say apply now this is your 01 fabric which is already been open it is all empty workspace we don't have anything here now we need to start creating the content so what you are going to do in this video is just going to create a lake house and warehouse empty both of them would be empty we are not going to load any data and uh, we will tell you that okay what are the objects they have created now before i do that let me tell you what are the components available with it or what are the engines available with it or what are the uh, different stuff which is available with us in case of fabric so if you go here you see new inside new i pressed if you did not notice let me go back in the new i press show all so i clicked on the new here on the top and in that one i press show all Now, when I press Show All in this empty workspace, I and in any time whether it's empty or non-empty, you are going to see. So I see Data Engineering saying Lake House Preview, which is means you are going to create a new Lake House using this notebook. Uh, you can run your Spark jobs and all those Spark job definition uh, notebook. You can write down the code in uh, Python, Scala, and all those, and then can use it. Then you have Data Flow Gen Two. So those who are from Power BI world, they know about Data Flow. Now this is Generation Two Data Flow. which will allow you to write down in the lake house and the warehouse uh, that's what it is there I, you can even write down in the um sql server there are facilities provided for that so now you can decide the destination previously the data flow destination was on the power bi service only now it it, it was not asking you just going to store it in power bi service now you can decide the destination now and uh, those who use power query in the de desktop we used to know that it going to save it in the desktop now data pipeline another way to ingest the data inside the is ecosystem fabric ecosystem both of them can ingest the data data pipeline is the pipeline method those who are from azure know about it azure data pipeline it is much easier here now 
and and when i'm going to create the lake house which is very much equivalent of your data lake which is much enhanced version of that you can't just simply say it's a data lake but you will see how easy it is it's not going to ask me you know n number of things it's all taken care by this single environment just like power bi we used to create you know but uh, data flows and all those is not going to ask us detail the same way is not going to ask us detail so for those of you coming from azure you will find it really easy now data science we can create model we can create experiments notebooks all these for data you know you can do data manipulation basically so data manipulation can be done using data science uh, basically you can get your algorithm run you get the new data you can write it back if you want to back to your data lake or um whatever uh, warehouse uh, or when you have gen2 which is also allow you to make data manipulation so data manipulation can happen here data manipulation can also happen here now data warehouse is another place where you will be able to you know land your data we have seen the two places so lake house and the warehouse is the second option where we are going to land our data fully functional sql data warehouse now reports are the power bi reports operational reports are paginated reports scorecard power bi scorecard dashboard power bi service dashboard data flow the old data flow uh, the data flow gen2 which we are going to utilize now because it's a more enhanced version of it more optimized to work with this environment we are going to use this data marts you previously have that in power bi those who are from power bi knows about it it's basically a cut down version of data warehouse data warehouse that's data mart streaming data sets you can get your streaming data kql data ksql database those who are working on uh, ks kql they know about it and then query sets and even streams these are for real time analytics and over period of time more features could be added in these things and these are right now under preview so everywhere you see preview 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 okay so what i'm going to do here i'm going to create my first lake house and this is what happened with me in this environment when i created clicked on this lake house for first time it told me it's going to upgrade me to the fabric microsoft fabric now if you are the one who has done it like me then you might see that message if you see that message maybe it's better idea to go ahead and create one more workspace post that but let's go ahead and create the work the lake house right now i'll click on the lake house and it will ask me for a name now once i click it ask me for a name and let me create this as a and let me try okay it's, it must start with a zero one now there could be certain limitation please remember it's all going to save in data lake uh, so lake okay so there could be limitation so i'll i'm going to call this lake house demo one lake house let me call it lake i called it lake house demo one i'm calling it create it's creating a new lake house now as your in as your how much time it has taken for you i have my own video i'm going to give you link how much time it took me to create a lake uh, in as your so just watch out that video and compare it with that and then you will get you know how easy it is becoming how integrated this environment is you have that storage already in place you are not searching for means when you are so the what is happening in this ecosystem is basically in this ecosystem you already selected your compute you already have your storage in place and then inside that one you are creating everything so now this becomes so easy now you can see it's talking about tables it's talking about file so right now we are not bringing in anything in this video we just will go ahead and look at it what it is okay so what is my workspace which i created this is something new even for the those who are working on the power bi recently came in that my recent work started showing here and then i have more options for whatever i have so now my 01 fabric is shown here so i click on 01 fabric and look at here what i got i did not got a simple lake house i got a sql endpoint and i also got a data set and when we are going to load the data i'm going to tell you the importance of that but what i would like to do here is i would like to see how different it looks when i do the warehouse so i again go to new and i would like to create a warehouse again uh, in this option it's not there so i'm going to press on the show all once i press to show all i go ahead here in the warehouse and i click on warehouse and in the warehouse i simply um, click on the and uh, uh, write down a name and i'll call it where house demo 01 
sensitivity label and now this is something very uh, uh, familiar for the power bi people who used to have the sensitivity label or if you are from office world you know that you know how important the sensitivity labels are the same label can be applied here so it's it's such a smooth integration of the technologies that you will see very similar thing so the objective here is the one leg should act like a one drive it should be as easy as office to work with and that is why you will see options lying wherever you are doing this stuff see how easy now it is create to warehouse just like you know i'm creating a file of you know word or powerpoint or excel how easy it is now you see the difference here now the, you are talk there is we are talking about schema there we are talking about security here those of us from sql server world understand this you know schemas uh, you know dbo guest information schema views all these things are coming out here db roles db roles custom built in queries shared queries very similar stuff okay now let's go back to the 01 fabric and let's see what all options we have now we got warehouse and we got data set now it is sql read and write so i don't need anything else now what we are going to do is we are going to look into what is there in the lake house menus and what is there in the uh, warehouse demos now so before i jump into i'll just let you know the options in the fabric here you can have upload upload uh, from upload to one one drive for business this is feature which you might have seen in power bi recently where you can upload uh, something on the one drive or sharepoint then you have create deployment pipeline deployment pipeline is we are going to are going to create dev environment test environment a production environment create app is coming from the power bi world where we combine certain set of reports and dashboard and give the access to the user then we have the manage access and workspace settings so the premium workspace or what kind of workspace you have you if you have azure connections you have git integration where to save and what all those things need to be do all these things are there then we have the power bi journal and then data engineering uh, things are there others are there so these are settings basically uh, we will so these are workspace settings and then uh, we have you know this uh, uh, lineage view so this is my lineage view from where it is coming so you can see in the lineage view the the data set is coming from the sql endpoint and then from lake house and then similarly this is coming from here okay now here now let's go back into the lake house and let's look at different menus which we have so we are seeing tables and the files whatever we are going to load here you have the settings you can see the settings here sensitivity label endorsement sql endpoint okay this is the connection which you can use to connect with your login which you are using here means whatever login i have here with the same login i will be able to login into sql server management studio so multi factor authentication you choose it if you are using multi factor authentication give this url you will be able to connect from this one but it is read only just remember that now get data upload file uh, i can upload the file and it will go to the file new pipeline and both data flow gen2 i can use and load the data here and i can load that directly into the table i don't need to load that as a file new shortcut means i can get it from um, data from uh, one lake Uh, which basically lake another lake house or another data data warehouse or i can get it from azure data lake gen2 or even from amazon s3 i can create a shortcut so data will be there but i will be able to see it here and perform certain operation you can create a new data set now this is other than the default data set which you can create and then you can open the notebook so now uh, you can create the notebooks using open notebook or you can open the existing notebook now when you open the notebook you don't have to give those long string you don't need you will be like in the lake house as the same folder it will act like you know you are in the same folder and you will be able to read the files that's an advantage here so we are going to try all these things out let's go back to the workspace and then from the workspace let's go uh, to data warehouse now in the data warehouse let's um, click on the warehouse and then let's see what options we have again we have get, get data from the pipeline right now that's the option enabled for us now in the sql we can run the new sql and we can you know run our queries and find out what data we have and all those the sql one again uh, so and then we have new visual query this is the option where you will be able to construct the visual query it is for those uh, who are not very much familiar with the sql they can use this new visual query editor and from there they can construct the query once we have the certain tables we will be able to open the model now this is the open model which is default data set which will be enabled once we load some data so 
go ahead and create these lake house and warehouse and in the next video we will start loading the data into this fabric ecosystem using the lake house first and then the warehouse do let me know what other questions you have in mind using the lake house and warehouse uh, thanks for watching this video thank you